Thank you, Christine, um, for inviting me to be a part of this important conversation. I must say I've been so inspired by the work that Junior Achievement has been doing this past year despite the pandemic and having to do virtual learning and all of that. Um, so I'm very inspired by the work that the youth has done um, and just everything that Junior Achievement has done to keep this going on for the students. So let's meet our Junior Achievement ambassadors um, who are here to tell their stories. We have Sam, who is a senior about to graduate. And if I'm reading this right, you will be attending Stanford University, right? Yep. Woo! Next, we have Jelani, who is a junior attending school in South San Francisco. And I was reading your LinkedIn, and it looks like you have more accomplishments than a 40-year-old. So <laughs> congratulations to you. And last but not least, Karan. It sounds like you are an investment whiz. And I heard you were the inspiration behind a new internship program Junior Achievement will be offering this summer. So we definitely want to hear more about that. Tell me, Sam, what drew you into Junior Achievement? Right, so the first exposure I had to Junior Achievement came from my sports medicine teacher, Mr. Aldue. Um, he told me about a Young Healers program that was partnered um, with uh, John Muir Health and Junior Achievement, and I just jumped at the opportunity. Um, it, it was right in the beginning of COVID, so I was super impressed how the team really made that into a virtual experience for us. And I learned so much about who I, um, who I am and what my interests are in the health field and also sparked my interest in public health. And how about you, Jelani? My teacher advised um, a few students and I to go into Junior Achievement's company program. Um, I, I went into it thinking that I didn't really know about entrepreneurship, I didn't really know about financial literacy, so I thought it was a good opportunity to learn more about it. And I went in their 24-week program and I learned so much about myself, my strengths, and what entrepreneurship is and how to be a leader in your community. And you, Karan? I think the main thing that drew me to JA was their financial literacy pillar. Um, I'm a big advocate for teaching everybody about financial literacy, personal finance, and investing. And I actually participated in uh, the JA National Stock Market Challenge, uh, in which my team came forth with around 29% returns in 60 days. So that financial literacy aspect and investing into the future was what really drew me in. What were some of the highs and lows for you during the pandemic, and what changes were you forced to make? I think right at the beginning of COVID on March 13th, I was expecting a two-week break from school, be right back in it about a year and a half. Um, as we know, that didn't go to plan, and we're still feeling those effects today. I'm still doing that hybrid model for school. I'm an in-person a little bit, but I definitely had to make a lot of changes. Um, one of them being is what I learned. Um, in a traditional experience, I'd be learning about math, um, social sciences, history, all that sort, but I really had to take that educational experience and uh, just accustom it to what I want to learn because um, they really didn't have that formal instruction. Um, so one of the main things I learned was how many um, systemic issues there were and how COVID exposed all of those issues, especially, especially mortality and um, socioeconomic disparities and how health medicine can um, help uh, appease some of those issues that are really prevalent in society. In your opinion, what are the benefits of virtual learning experiences? Let's start with you, Jelani. To pick out what was very beneficial from the virtual experience, um, you have to have a positive mindset on what came out. So initially, I didn't know about LinkedIn. I didn't know about these social networks that were available to people. And it wasn't to just specific um, age ranges. It could be also for high school students, people who wanted to ex um, spread their network. And once I discovered LinkedIn, I took advantage of it and really started communicating to people, asking questions, becoming curious in different aspects of society. Are your friends involved in Junior Achievement? And if not, what can we do to get more students involved? JA really meets a specific need within the educational experience and that financial literacy. I know at my school, there's only one personal finance section. I mean, it's really undervalued, especially by the administration and by the teachers. So I think getting more students into those programs that JA hosts, like the company program, uh, the Young Healers program, the stock market competition, I'm going to really open students' eyes to what financial literacy means and how it's so beneficial to every student. How about you, um, Karan? Do you believe that your time with Junior Achievement has given you a boost when it comes to entering the workforce and the field that you're interested in? Yeah, 100%. I think that while I was participating in the stock market challenge, I use an investment strategy revolving around valuation, right? And it's just valuing a stock or a company. 
And that's something that I never really knew how to do before. And there's so many different methods of doing it, like discounted cash flows and EV to EBITDAs. And I never thought that it would be used in the real world practically. But when I got my job for this summer, um, I recently started there, uh, they asked me to build a financial model uh, to value their company. And it was a discounted cash flow. And that's something I remembered how to do because of JA. Look, if somebody would have told me stocks would have been this big, I would have taken them seriously too. <laughs> Was there anybody in junior achievement that you met through the program that really turned on the light bulb for you and gave you some value that you're able to use now? Yeah, so I met Ruby through junior achievement and she's been really instrumental into getting me in the company and kind of exper letting me experience what junior achievement really is about. I've learned about your three pillars of financial literacy being what I'm primarily focused on. How about you, Sam? Yeah, so this is a really easy question to answer. Um, Stacy and Rachel were the people who really, they ran the Young Healers program, and I just admired how they transitioned from an in-person program to a virtual program so quickly, um, especially working with John Muir Health and recruiting all these different um, professionals from across the nation. Um, we had speakers from New York, um, from all the way right here in the Bay Area. So I was just really um, just amazed at how quick they were, um, just ran the program and how organized they were. Nice, and how about you, Jelani? In the Junior Achievements Company program, we were assisted um, with mentors from Tesla and Salesforce, um, Nelson and Anthony, and they really taught us as students to take risks because they were there to support us. And if we were to fall, that they were there to guide us out of it and really learn from the experiences. So it let us have an opportunity to really understand what our ideas were without the barrier and really discover what we wanted to do with our ideas with support knowing that they were going to be there. Tonight's theme is our unsung heroes. I want to ask you, who is an unsung hero in your life? It would have to be Mr. Al Dewey. He's my sports medicine teacher. Um, in a normal year, like last year, I had the chance to work on the field, so I worked football games and clinic. I got to tape, I got to learn massage techniques, modalities. It was a really cool. Uh, but now this year, obviously, it was all virtual. So we had to make do what, what we could do. Um, so we had a lot of projects for us. Um, he adapted a lot of the taping assignments into online, so that when we eventually got to the clinic this year, we had all those skills ready for us. If there was one thing that you learned through JA that made you a better student or person in general, um, what would it be? Don't take fear for granted. It can really push you to make yourself grow. And especially in JA, I had a lot of um, speaking opportunities. So I was able to be a keynote or um, talk in front of CNBC and ask questions that weren't asked before from a student. And having those opportunities, of course, I was nervous, I was scared. But fear stands for false um, evidence appearing real. So I really, really learned that and took that into action with JA, and I learned how to be confident and how to make my voice heard in society. So Karan, I know you participated in the stock market challenge and you do all this investing. So I want to know, is the, um, are the financial and business lessons you gained from junior achievement something you've experienced anywhere else when it comes to education? I think uh, definitely not. I've never learned about many of the investing techniques that are out there through any other means. And I know Sam mentioned that he had a personal finance class at his school, and my school doesn't even offer that. So in my opinion, and, and I'm a very big advocate of it, is, is being and learning about personal finance. And those lessons you can't get anywhere, anywhere else other than JA. A whole year ago, before JA, um, I didn't know what financial literacy was. I feel like a lot of high school students also don't know what it is because they most of the time don't have to really under, need to understand it or people believe that. But JA really taught us early on how to kind of negotiate, how to learn about financial literacy, um, making sure that we were asking the right questions, being curious. And in their programs, I was able to ask those questions and really learn one-on-one um, -on -one basis through their education and how they were teaching students. So Jay was very unique in that perspective, asking students what they needed and what they needed to learn for outside of school. For me, Jay really taught me how to market myself and also market my ideas. Um, because I learned that you can have the best idea in the world, but it's how you market, how you present yourself that really um, sells the product. 
So for me, I had to create a sales pitch. I had to create a more attractive slide deck. And I learned that all from JA when I was presenting my Project Icarus idea um, to, to a panel of professionals in the workforce, in the healthcare field, um, in the banking field. Um, so that really helped me as a person and as a marketer. What opportunities are you looking forward to um, to come next to you in your journey? After doing um, Junior Achievement's company program, I learned step by step through their curriculum and their academics that how to make an idea something that anyone can really learn from, be tangible and make an impact in your society. So um, making a business with my sister was one of the key things that I thought would really help people by donating, um, catering and things like that and being really brought to the community one on one. Thank you all for meeting with, with me today. I can't wait to see what success lies in the future for each of you. And thank you all for supporting Junior Achievement and being with us today.